Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to tweak your network for less network latency and less delay. I just want to mention before we get into the video that only 6% of you guys are subscribed, and I will be dropping videos every Monday at 5 p.m. East, so make sure to stay tuned by subscribing so you get to see the videos when they come out. The first tweak I want to show you guys today is disabling UDP offloads. What UDP offloads basically do is it just tries to put some of the UDP processing onto the network card, which can be bad for latency as your network card in majority cases is slower than your CPU. If you do have a low end CPU or you have some type of system with CPU bottleneck, so even when your FPS is capped, your CPU has 100% usage, I recommend skipping this tweak and moving on to the next one. But if you do want to disable UDP offloads, which you should do if you have a mid to high end CPU, to do this, you would want to go into command prompt and run it as administrator. Once you run it as administrator, you want to type this command right here. Once you type this command, you just want to click enter. This basically just disables UDP offloading for you, which should put some of the processing onto your CPU. If you do have a tuned or overclocked CPU, this will work even better and your network will be processed faster. That's how you disable UDP offloading. So the next tweak I want to show you guys is a tweak that is actually mentioned in NVIDIA documents to help with UDP traffic. To do this tweak, what you want to do is go into registry and then head over to this path right here. HK local machine system current control set services AFD and parameters once you're in here you want to right click on any empty space click new and then dword 32 bit value once you do this you want to type fast send datagram threshold into this box so it should look like this and you want to make sure you type it exactly like this no spaces in between and all the capital and lowercase letters are set once you do that, you want to click enter and then you want to double click on the value. Once you're in here, you want to go to decimal and then you want to type 409600. Once you type that and click enter, you will know if you did it right if it says 64,000 on the end right here on the hex value. If that's the case, then you have done this properly and it should help you with processing your UDP traffic. So for this third tweak, I need you guys to join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. Once you join my Discord server, you want to go over to the resources and you should see Find Network Adapter Registry Path. What you want to do is download this. I already have it downloaded on my desktop. But once you download it, you want to run it. Once you run it, you should see a registry path right here. You want to copy this registry path and then you could close out of this but once you have the registry path you want to head over to registry and then you want to paste the path inside your registry which should take you to your network adapter settings now once you're in here you want to look for two things receive buffers and transmit buffers when you're in here and you don't see these though you could create them all you have to do is just click new go right click new string value and then you would type the one that you're missing. So say it's transmit buffers, you would type this. But since I already have it, I'm just not gonna do that. Once you see these two values, what you wanna do is raise these buffer sizes. The max value, you can set both of these is 4096. The higher you go on these, the less latency you're gonna have, but you might have some instability. Also, some network drivers as well have certain limits to how high you could put these. You could put this at like 20,000, but the driver will just pick the highest value that it can go. But if you do go to a higher value than what your driver is allowed to go to, you have like a chance that it'll actually use the buffer that you set it to. But to switch these, all you wanna do is just double click it. And for transmit buffers, I recommend a value of 2048 or 4096 which is what I'm going to use and for receive buffers you want to double click on that and I recommend a value of 1024 or 2048 I'm going to use 2048 since that's what I use and it's the highest usually the higher you go the less latency you're going to have so you're always better off setting this higher than what you have before but that's how you would raise your buffer sizes now for this next week we want to stay within the same registry path what we're going to be doing is configuring our receive side scaling to do this we want to enable it first off so what we're going to do is we're going to look for the d word with the star rss and we're going to set this to one if you don't have it then just make it and if you have the one without the star as well you want to set this to one as well this just enables it but for rss profile you want to set this to three this just sets this to pneumostatic which is what windows should be using first off but if it's not using that, just make sure you set it to three just in case. 
As for num RSS queues, basically the amount of RSS queues that you have, the golden number is two or four. Usually the higher you go, the less latency you're gonna have, but you might get less throughput. I want latency, so I'm just gonna type four. And to make sure you actually have these queues, what you wanna do is you wanna open the path to wherever you're at right now. Click NDI, open that one too and then params once you're in here you want to unlock the num rss queues path as well and then click enum once you're in here i already have four queues but you might not have that you might have even more if that's the case then just delete the ones to the ones that you want to have so say you want two you would delete all the other ones and only have two but say you only have two right here and you want four like me to create the other ones you'll just right click on an empty space click new and a string value. Right now we're trying to create our third queue, so we're gonna type three. We're gonna double click on it and type three queues. This basically just unlocks another queue for us. So if you wanna create a fourth one, it's the same process, but instead of three, we're gonna type four. Like this. This basically just unlocks two more queues for us that we can use, and that's what we're gonna be doing once we set this to four. As for max RSS processors, you want to set this to 4 as well. You want to use your 4th core for this one. As for max proc number right here, what you want to do is you want to use 2 cores less than the amount of logical processors you have. So if you want to check the amount of logical processors you have, you want to go to your task manager, performance, and then CPU. Once you're in here, you should see cores and then logical processors. I have 12 logical processors, so if I subtract 2 from that, I'm going to get 10. So for RSS max proc number, I'm going to put 10 in here. Now that's basically just how you would configure RSS. Now the last tweak I want to show you guys is disabling flow control and interim moderation. These basically try to take less stress off the CPU, which is bad for your latency. And it also introduces a new network process as well that can hurt your latency. So to disable it, all you have to do is just double click on the values and switch whatever it is to zero. If you don't have them, then you could just create them. Here's the names of them. But another thing you also want to look for is flow control cap. You want to make sure it's set to zero. So you make sure that flow control is completely disabled. But that's it I have for you guys in today's video. If this video reaches 75 likes, I'll probably do something USB or input delay related in my next video. If you do have any suggestions, make sure to join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. But yeah, that's it for today. See you in the next one.